Hey guys, it's Bear with BearIndependent.com. <clears throat> if you hear any noises in the background, that's because there's a toddler in the pool over here. Don't worry, she's not unsupervised. <clears throat> I wanted to briefly, briefly touch on uh, uh, a list that I made for myself as far as stocking up for Lockdown 2.0. Talk about things that you might want to get for yourself. And this is not a comprehensive list nor an in-depth discussion. These are just some things that I... I'm looking at, so I feel like you should be looking at them. The first is fuel. Uh, fill your gasoline cans, fill your diesel cans, fill your propane tanks. Just top them all off, whatever your can capacity is, get all those things topped off. And then also look at your, you know, petroleum oils lubricants, right? And so if this is two cycle oil or engine oil or whatever you may have, uh, get a little bit of depth with those things. Next is consumables or paper goods. Uh, toilet paper, we know from lockdown 1.0 that was an issue. It might behoove you to get some extra toilet paper right now. Uh, paper towels, uh, paper plates, things like that. I don't know if you or your MAG mutual assistance group have spent much time living together, cooking together, eating together, but paper plates are awesome, um, especially if you find yourself in a scenario where water may be less reliable or it becomes a precious commodity uh, we as Americans waste a lot of water cleaning dishes, and so paper plates can absolve you of some of that necessity for water. So consumables, your paper goods. Uh, cleaning supplies, soaps, bleach, um, uh, cleaning supplies uh, in general, things like that. Potentially for disinfecting, but also for keeping your body clean, your tools clean, um, your utensils and your plates clean, your house clean, or whatever environment you're living in. Uh, canned food and grains. Um, this is a cornerstone of long-term food storage, and most of us have a bunch of that already. If you don't, get more of it. Keep going. But um, right now, while food is still relatively cheap, I think we should all be stocking up. But do an audit of your pantry. See what what do you have for your working pantry as far as canned foods and grains, and get some more of that. Go a little bit deeper. And this doesn't have to be the type of thing where you go and buy a pallet of it right now, but maybe you have the ability to get some extra, get some extra. I kind of make a habit every time I go to the grocery store buying something extra, something related to prepping, whatever it might be. Uh, flowers, leavening, and sugars. Uh, it says in the word that man will transgress for a piece of bread. Well, I don't want to have to transgress. I don't want to have to stand in somebody else's bread line. And so flours, leavenings, and sugars, good to go. A five pound sack of flour uh, will make about four loaves of bread, about. Um, depends on the size of the loaf and the type of the loaf that you're making. And so if you needed a loaf of bread per day, you got four per sack. For a month's worth of bread, you need about uh, you know, 35 sacks of, uh, I'm sorry, 35 pounds of flour. If you're buying them, you know, that'd be seven sacks in a five pound bag four sacks in a 10 pound bag or one 50 pound sack for a month worth of bread for flour. Also leavenings and sugar to go with those leavenings. Um, plus, you know, it's sugar. We're Americans, good to have on hand. So flours, leavening, sugars. Um, coffee, tea, and powdered milk. This is something that, um, you know, a note that we made from lockdown 1.0 was we really needed a dairy cow. Well, powdered milk, good to go. Yes, it's expensive, but it's nice to have. It's a nice to have, not a need to have, but coffee and tea. Um, I'm a big fan of drinking water, but not everybody drinks water all day, every day. And it's also good to have a little hit of that caffeine if you need it. Uh, refill your prescription medications. If you can, talk to your doctor. Say, I've got some concern about long-term availability of these medicines. Is there any way I can get an extra 90 days? Uh, and in most cases, they'll say yes. So refill your prescription meds. Uh, on the same note, over-the-counter medicines and medicinals, whatever uh, herbals, medicinals you may be into, vitamins, things like that, good to have extras on hand. And then OTC meds, you're talking your Advils, um, you know, your acetaminophens, aspirins, um, the uh, <coughs> anti-diarrheals, stool softeners, things like that. Um, batteries and chargers. Batteries, good to have. Um, you know, everything runs on batteries these days. I got a couple double A's right here on my desk because I needed to put them in something. So 
even if you have rechargeable batteries, which are good, what are you going to charge them from? Charger could be on grid, you know, plug it into the wall. It could be off grid, plug it into your solar panel. And so look at what, it, your, what is your charging capacity there. It may even be for a short term scenario, you can use a 12 volt outlet that's in your truck or your vehicle. But batteries and chargers. And then lastly, uh, revisit your plans and your protocols. What are you going to do if lockdown 2.0 comes hot and heavy? and your kids are at school. Do they know where to meet you? Do they know where to go? What's the plan? What's your plan if you have to stay home for 90 days? What does that look like? Who's coming to you? What are they bringing when they come? Where are they staying? Or where are you going? What are you bringing when you go? Where are you staying when you get there? So your plans and your protocols. So to recap, a very quick video, just kind of putting the bug in your ear, things to think about. Fuel. Gasoline, diesel, propane, uh, paper goods and consumables, toilet paper, uh, paper towels, paper plates perhaps, cleaning supplies, soaps, bleach, things of that nature, canned goods and grains, flours, leavening and sugars, coffee, tea, powdered milk, you might add to that maybe some Gatorade mix or um, rehydration salts would be something to think about. I like trioral, T-R-I-O-R-A-L, trioral rehydration salts. Um, coffee, tea, powdered milk, uh, prescription meds refilled. If you're on any prescription meds, get them refilled and try and get some extra. And then over the counter medicines and medicinals so that you have that on hand to deal with. If somebody gets sick in your house, what are you going to do? Uh, obviously we want to nurse them back to health batteries and chargers, and then revisit your plans and protocols. If then, if this happens, then we do this. What does that look like for you and your team? I appreciate y'all. Have a blessed day. Shalom.